Beneath Arizona's scorching sun and towering red rocks, its round is shifting. Arizona's relentlessly. It's not a quake. It's not erosion. We are not confirming an earthquake. The U.S. Geological Survey right now showing no reports coming out of Arizona. We'll it's something far more mysterious. A massive rift is opening beneath the desert floor, defying everything we thought we knew about America's geology. Scientists didn't expect it. Severe drought and uh, bad news is we're starting to see even some extreme. Now they can't ignore it. What if the next great tectonic Tis normation isn't coming from the edge of a continent, but from its heart, the first songs in the soil, it started with a crack. Farmers in Arizona noticed new cracks forming in dry fields near Wilcox. At first, they thought it was due to drought. The Southwest was experiencing extreme heat and low water in aquifers, so cracks in dry soil were common. But these cracks were different. They grew broader, deeper, and longer. Near grazing land, trenches appeared. Fences disappeared into the ground in some spots, and irrigation ditches collapsed. One rancher described it as watching the desert fall in on itself. This problem wasn't just on farms. Suburban streets showed jagged gaps. One schoolyard had to be closed because the asphalt cracked in the middle. Even a newly resurfaced highway began to sag, raising concerns for state engineers. Cracks appeared in parking lots and playgrounds. Water tanks in communities are tilted on their bases. Residents nearby reported loud creaking noises at night as if the ground was groaning. Was this caused by draining groundwater? Arizona has long taken water from its aquifers for farming in cities. Ground sinking in places like Phoenix and Tucson is well known. But this situation felt different. These cracks weren't just random holes. They followed a clear direction and moved consistently. Geologists studying the area noticed that the cracks ran in a north-northwest line, parallel to major fault lines, but without the typical motion of known faults. This wasn't side-to-side -side movement. The ground was pulling apart. Then, satellite data came in. Researchers from the University of Arizona and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory studied radar images from space and discovered something alarming. The cracks were part of a larger issue, a 30-mile-long area of land sinking and cracking. In some places, the ground dropped nearly two inches every month, showing no signs of stopping. Infrared images indicated a slight heat pattern below the cracks. Some areas warmed the surrounding rock, but no known geothermal sources existed. Soil samples from the deepest parts of the cracks contained unusual gases, not typical of shallow ground activity. The earth wasn't just sinking, it was splitting, and scientists suspected something deeper was at play. That shouldn't exist. Arizona is not typically known for earthquakes or active fault systems. This area is part of the Basin and Range Province, where the Earth's crust stretches and thins over millions of years. However, scientists are now observing something unusual that doesn't fit the typical patterns in this region. Geological surveys have found a new rift zone forming along a stable area near the southern edge of the Colorado Plateau. Unlike regular faults, this rift shows signs of active changes expanding both horizontally and vertically at the same time. It's also notable for its symmetry. The rift has a central axis with mirrored fracture lines on either side, as if the land is being gently pulled apart. What's causing this rift? Is Arizona experiencing tectonic extension caused by unknown forces underground? Is magma moving in or is something else rising to the surface? Or could this be the start of a new rift system that might change the geology of the American Southwest? Seismic sensors have detected a series of tiny earthquakes that form a pattern. This pattern shows a precise curve beneath the surface leading towards the San Pedro Valley. Such patterns are often found near active spreading centers where the Earth's crust pulls apart. Geologists also notice that the tremors are happening more frequently, with some indicating that fluid is moving deep underground. These signals are typically associated with magma moving below. Adding to the mystery, scientists found higher levels of helium-3 gas in nearby wells. Helium-3 is rare on Earth's surface and comes from the mantle below. Its presence here suggests there is more deep Earth activity than we thought. This is not just a case of the ground sinking. Something rises beneath the crust. Thermal imaging and magnetic studies are helping to reveal what might be a growing body of magma deep underground. Areas with low resistance and high heat suggest molten material moving closer to the fragile crust. Researchers have also recorded small changes in the Earth's surface, just a few millimeters each month, 
around the area where the rift is forming. Some scientists call this a proto-rift, an early feature that could evolve into a tectonic boundary. Others think this may be a localized hotspot, indicating a larger change in the movement of the Earth's mantle. So, is Arizona being pulled apart from below? Or are we witnessing the birth of a future rift valley that might become one of the significant tectonic divides in the world? A pattern across the Southwest. Arizona is not the only place experiencing geological issues. Similar crack patterns, some only visible from satellites, appear in New Mexico, southern Utah, and West Texas. Highways are showing cracks, farmland is buckling for no apparent reason, and unusual ground temperatures are being recorded in areas previously thought to be stable. Are we seeing the early stages of a continental split? Is the American Southwest slowly changing? The East African Rift is a well-known example of what happens when the continental crust breaks apart. This process starts quietly with land sinking, minor earthquakes, and groundwater changes, then speeds up. In some parts of Africa, valleys have dropped by many feet over just a few centuries. Volcanoes emerge, new lakes form, and oceans can eventually split continents. Geologists are now comparing the signs of spreading in Arizona and nearby states to this process. They notice not just the patterns, but also how fast changes are happening. In New Mexico, satellite data show crust stretching has nearly doubled since 2010. New fault lines have been found in southern Utah, cutting through ancient rock layers. West Utah has seen more small earthquakes, which were thought to be linked to oil drilling, but are now seen as part of a bigger structural change. A recent symposium by the U.S. Geological Survey gathered experts to discuss these trends. They concluded that this is not just a coincidence. The data suggest a growing area of tectonic movement here that cannot be ignored, similar in importance to the East African Rift, the Volcano Connection. Researchers are looking into whether the rift in Arizona is connected to volcanic activity instead of just tectonic movements. Dormant volcanic areas like the San Francisco Peaks in the Wincarat Volcanic Field were thought to be inactive, but new studies challenge this idea. Thermal imaging and drones have found unusual heat spots, especially at a persistent hot area northwest of the San Francisco Peaks, with no record of human activity or volcanic eruptions. Underground gas monitoring has also shown increased volcanic gas emissions, suggesting that rising magma may be causing these changes. Geophysical surveys indicate areas of low resistivity, which could mean superheated water or molten rock below the surface. This might relate to the cracks seen in the Arizona Rift. Old lava tubes and collapsed domes could act as pathways for renewed volcanic activity. Recent findings include a new fumarole on the Kaibab Plateau, and slight ground changes suggest inflation in dormant areas, possibly indicating pressure zones that could lead to eruptions. Researchers have also found strange magnetic anomalies, which could mean new magma is moving in or old magma is becoming active again. The possibility of volcanic activity returning to Arizona raises questions about what is beneath the surface and when it might become active again. This rift could be an early sign of volcanic activity not seen in North America for thousands of years. What happens if it spreads? If the Arizona rift keeps growing, the results could be serious. Roads, bridges, and pipelines may break, and groundwater supplies could change, affecting entire towns. Even small ground shifts could crack buildings and disturb essential services, making farmland unusable. The economy depends on transport and could face major supply chain problems quickly. We don't know how fast this will happen. Some scientists think changes will occur slowly over thousands of years, but others worry about rapid changes from magma pressure or tectonic activity. The risk of more events like earthquakes or volcanic eruptions adds to the uncertainty. The environment could suffer too. Groundwater changes could harm ecosystems and essential water sources. City planning, emergency services, and utilities will need significant changes to keep up with these shifts. The key question is whether governments will respond quickly enough to protect communities. As we think about these issues, is a new fault system forming under the Southwest? The consequences for our land, lives, and supply chains are serious. The Earth is trying to tell us something. Are we paying attention? What do you think? Would you live near the rift? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more updates on this critical geological situation.